Ladies and gentlemen, this is Scott Patrick. He is what you might call, well, simply complacent. He has everything in his life figured out. He knows where everything goes. And if there's change, well, believe me, he fixes it. His things are precisely where he needs them, at all times. Scott has two things he loves. He either spends time in his basement playing video games, or at the donut shop just down the road from his home. There, but there is where he gets his most cherished possession, a cream-filled lounge and here is where his story begins. Hey, how are you? Chocolate covered long john, right? What else would you like? I don't know why I asked you that. I know that you always get the same thing. Let me bring this up for you. And that'll be. You got it. Dollar twenty-five. I have to ask you a question. You come in here every day, like clockwork, at the same time, and you get the same chocolate-covered long john. Do you ever go anywhere else? Do anything else? There's a big world out there for you to see, you know, outside these doors. Lots of things for you to see and do. Lots of things that can help you change your view on your life. You know, now don't go out there and get kidnapped or anything like that, but live life to the fullest. It'll do you a lot of good. Ah, ah, ah. Give us all the money! All of it! shop just got robbed. Yes, the donut shop on Timberlake. Yes, they took all of my money and they got the guy that was here eating the donut. Please, please hurry. We're good. Yeah. All right, brother. We, 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 we did it. We did it. Dude, we did it. We, we, did, did, it, it, we did it. Look at this. Look. We freaking got it, man. We freaking oh, look at got this it. Cash. Count it. it. Count it. Not a ton, but it's gonna be enough for sure. Yeah, it definitely is. I hope I so. I know it is. I know it is. I know I'm not it. doing that again. Holy crap! Who the hell is this? It's the guy. It's the guy. The guy from the. I remember. I picked him up from the hitch. No, I don't remember. No, no, no. What the hell? Stop was the it, problem, man. Calm man. down. Quit it. Jeez, man. I don't know, man. We were just in there. We're doing our thing. We're working our magic, right? And I just glance over and I see this guy. So I just grabbed him, man. You just grabbed him? You just grabbed him? We're supposed to be good at this. Never do something so stupid. You would never do something stupid like that. But Joe is Mr. Perfect, right? Yeah, I almost forgot about that. We got we got the money, alright? It's always something you see wrong with the way I do things. It's always Joe's way or no way. 
Just like when we were younger. Oh, okay, Mike. Go ahead with your kids' yeah, story. You remember that yeah. time we stole yeah. Johnny Franco's bike? Yeah. yeah, what happened then, huh? Well, you distracted him, and I stole the bike. Yeah, that's right. And then what? And then I left you to get beat up. Yes, so that, is, that is very much right. And I walked home that day, Joe. Yeah, I know. So? And the worst part was when I get back to the house, I walk in, and what do you say to me? You should have ran faster. That's exactly right. You should have ran faster. I was a fat kid. Not a little large around the waist. Not a few extra pounds. Like, holy crap, what don't you eat kind of fat? Do you know what kind of issues arise when you say something like that to a fat kid? I would imagine that it results in more eating. Yeah, well, but I don't know because I'm not a fat kid doctor. Yeah. I'm driving here. Come on. You want us to crash and lose all the money? Hey, man. What's your name? You know, my partner's not much of a people person. I don't mind meeting new people. You're an idiot. Can ask the kid his name now? What's wrong with you, man? Yo, what's wrong with me, Mike? We got a hostage in the back, and you're asking what his name is. What's next? You enjoy a long walk from the beach? You're a moron. You know what? Screw you, Joe. I'm about up to here with your bull crap. I was being nice, nice, nice. You know what that means? You know what that word means? Is nice even inside a fat body? The nice thing to do boy walk away from all this crap and that's it. That's the kind of guy that I am. Okay? Ah, uh, 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 who freaking cares, man? We're here. Uh, what are you going to do with the kid, though? I don't know. Bring him to the boss. See what he wants to do. Alright, when we go in here, don't look at anyone, don't smile, don't breathe really. Just be cool, okay? What is that, a Boston cream? I love donuts, alright? Swax. Get out of my way. It's a password. It's Big Apple, 3 a.m. Just sit here and be quiet. So you get the cash, my friends? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Well, good. Was well, this like 300, 350? Yeah, it's 350. That's good, you guys. <laughs> really not too bad, you know? <laughs> These two guys, you know, Molly? <laughs> 350 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! I gave you two bozos second chance. Yeah, yeah you did, but... but uh, no, wait. You know how often I do something like that? Never. You two really shouldn't have taken such grace. Brandon. Might have saved your lives. Paulie. Why don't you do him? Wait, wait, wait. Who the hell is this guy? I, I was gonna tell you about him. He's we were at the store, right? And we're working our magic, and I see him, and I just figured that you would like the money in the hostages. Huh? So let me get this straight. Not only did you bring me 350 bucks from a donut shop. You brought this kid to my place? Yeah. Exactly. What do you think we should do, Polly, yeah? How about you kill these two and you find a box for the new friend, I'll do anything. I'll do Run, kid. Run! So our friend Scott Patrick found in that day something he never knew existed. He found that life can be so much more than what all of our lives hold. Something can happen so quickly, 
and open a new life that's endless of possibilities. From that day forward, Scott Patrick never went back to the donut shop. He never went back to his favorite video game. No. No, Scott Patrick is no longer a complacent man. He found a new life, and he never turned back. <laughs>